Light. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, the lap hammer is really light, so just try and ignore that. The lighting's not great, but it's right. Ignore it. How's it going? Hopefully you're all right. It's a wonderful morning. My room's a mess. My room is a mess, but ignore it. Because I have to live in it for a bit today. Because I'm I'm, go I'm going out today. I'm going shopping for some stuff for my room. I'm renovating my room in, in, in other ways. Um, looking for other stuff, like a hole puncher. I learned last night that I don't really have a hole puncher. I, I, I need a hole puncher. Uh, plus, I get to get a, a Costco lunch. So I'm very happy about that. We're going on journey today. I think we're going to go to Ikea. I want to get some stuff from Ikea. I want to get some crates. That would be pretty cool. Man, it's so loud. Down there. Um, yeah, I'm kind of on the move today. That means I'll probably have to do some editing while I'm in the car, so I'm gonna have to bring on that. So, but it's a wonderful Tuesday. I can't remember what the date is. 4th of August, maybe? It's pretty gnarly. And um, it hasn't yet started, so better get started. Whoop, whoop. <sighs> uh, I'm exhausted. And also, there's like a half pigeon, half dove. That's like a pretty cool. It has like. It looks pretty awesome. I don't, I don't know if that's special or not. I just don't think I've ever seen one half and half before. That's kind of cool. I think that kind of, <laughs> I think that kind of sums up how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm exhausted, very tired, and um, but yeah, I've been shopping all day. Yeah, some final stuff for for the university and the room. I got a new chair, but we think it's broken. It doesn't, it doesn't go up. Stays to the floor, so it's not not the best, not great. But I think we're gonna try and get a new one. Uh, but I got a, um, I got, I got a blanket, frame, a hole punch. So this cost me six pounds. Oh, I also got a tape measure. I, I don't, you know, filmmaking purposes. I'm just gonna, I don't really want to snap this back, so I'm just gonna put that back. It's like a 3D film. Ooh, scares me every time. It's uh, late in the afternoon. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling exhausted. So I'm gonna take a little break. Probably stick on a film. I, I got, I still edit today. I also got some other stuff to do, but then yeah, I have tonight to party. Only joking. It's a pandemic, not gonna party, but I, I can have fun. I have something really, really cool I want to show you. And this is follows on from yesterday's vlog, so if you've been there, then you probably know how much this means to me. This is it. This is my first feature length screenplay. It's actually insane. It's um, probably one of the biggest things I've done. <laughs> this is 78 pages of hard work. <laughs> 79 pages, sorry. Hard work, long nights, very long nights. Finally rest, I just need to sign it. That's my work. It's uh, it's been a bit of a long day, lads. I must admit. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about a film that you should probably see because it's really underrated. But I feel like not a lot of people watch it mainly because it's um, it's quite underground, and quite indie. It's a British film and it's on Netflix. No, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. And this is called Attack the Block. It is a brilliant film and it's directed by the one and only Joe Cornish, who's also worked on these films and um, he also did loads of other shows and been involved with a lot of very, very, very big and good films. Now, there's multiple reasons why I love this, uh, especially that I live in London and uh, I can relate to a lot of this stuff as it, it's quite close to home. It's um, it's a film that doesn't take itself too seriously when it also handles of serious matters. It, it juggles all this stuff together and it's really interesting to see uh, Joe's take on it. And the reason why it's so true to life and its representation of London is down to his, you know, casting. He like he casts a lot of local kids, as well as doing a lot of research. The amount of stuff he'd done in preparation to, for this movie is kind of astonishing. Like going into youth groups, going around London, talking to youth. It's great, and um, he kind of nailed that with the screenplay. I must say, it has it has aged a bit. You can definitely tell with the language, and it's interesting to see. But it's definitely how people spoke um, a couple years ago. Um, but that kind of shows how culture changes. Sorry, I'm watering my plants. I think it's a really interesting point to raise about how it's almost like a time cap. Sure. Even though it's, it's a sci-fi film, okay? But a sci-fi film doesn't mean it has to be bad at representation. It, it, it's a brilliant piece of cinema. It deserves the recognition it gets. It definitely does. It's a fictional story. It would be very worrying if this was true. It's amazing about the amount of diversity he got into the cast. Stars have broken out of this, especially the likes of John Boyega, who's gone on to do you know, not, nothing much really. Nah, he hasn't really done anything. It, with every film, he gets better and better. But then you also have big stars like Jodie Whittaker and Nick Frost who also star in the film. I feel like the reason why I like this film so much is that it, it's shot and its premise is very much Hollywood. It's very much big production and it, it feels like it needs a massive production behind it. But it's set in London, it's filmed in London, it's done in London, it's done in the block of flats. Like it could have been done the block of flats down there, like right next to my house. And that's why I love it so much, is because it's nice to see, you know, your hometown being represented. That's my suggestion. I thought I'd talk about underrated films more because you have to talk about underrated films, otherwise they won't, they just will stay the same. I think it's important to show the light on independent film and smaller films that deserve attention. If you can support independent films, 
support smaller films, even if you're not really into films, it might be worth giving it a try. With all that said, I'd like to say thank you for watching today. It's been a bit of a weird one. It's been a weird day for me as well. Comment what you want to see next, as well as like the video if you want to. Subscribe if you want to see more. Check out my other videos, not the old ones, because they're really bad. And I'll see you tomorrow, where I actually have some sort of plan of what to do and not just blabber on about something I like, like the final hour of the day. It's very late. See you lads and goodbye.